Hello girls. Well, I'm here today with my lovely girls, Violet, Lara and Primmy, or Primrose as her full name is. Now they're going to try and escape, but I don't want them on the floor because I just want to have a little talk about thinking like a rat. Now it might seem to be a funny thing to you, but it's quite obvious um, to me that lots of people don't actually think like they're rats. Now the way to understand your rat <laughs> is to try and, and think what they are thinking and it just makes life easier. Now these are some low sugar oat Cheerios. The rats are over a year old so I'm going to let them have some Cheerios. I just This is not a thing that we would do every day, let them have lots of Cheerios. It is just purely when we're filming. They know, they usually get one at bedtime after their afternoon or evening play. Now why I want to talk about thinking like a rat is, is the amount of questions that I get. Why is my rat scared? Well, when you get a new rat, whether it's been handled before, whether it's a baby that's been handled daily from birth, whether it's an older rat that's been rehomed that's been handled or whether it's a rescue rat. Going to a new home is an enormous change for your rat. And if you, you really have to think, how would I feel if some big giant came along and they removed me from my home, from my brothers, my sisters, my mother, everything I've ever known, and they put me into a, a strange place. I went into a car, a little box, <laughs> a little box and I moved to a new place, a funny journey, all sorts of things and everything smelt different, um, especially for little babies that have been separated from their mothers and their brothers and sisters. Just imagine how sad that actually is to suddenly find yourself without the protection of your family. So if you are having trouble thinking how a small animal would think, try and think back to when you first started school or nursery. Now I know not everyone can remember this and quite often you forget your first day at school or nursery because it was so traumatic for you, you put it out of your mind. So that's just a little indication for you how scary it would be to move to a new environment without your family. And the same with older rats, when the, a rat has lived in a home for a long time and we get a lot of rats that get sent to us at two years old, maybe been in several homes and they don't know what to expect. Now if they've been in a place where they've previously been badly treated or had a bad experience, it's going to make them terribly nervous because they don't know what to expect. So however kind you are, and you know that you're going to be gentle and kind with your rats, and if you're not, then you shouldn't have rats, because they need to be treated gently and kindly, and because that is the only way they're going to learn to trust you, and if they don't trust you, you're never going to have a bond with your rats. And you, little Miss Lara, eating my t-shirt. <laughs> I think she's telling me, give me a sweetie. And if you don't build up the trust with your rats and build that bond, then you're going to miss out on a huge amount of enjoyment of caring for rats because the bond that you have with your rats is absolutely lovely. They are the most affectionate, intelligent and social animals that you can get. They really are lovely. If you're going to have small animals, I've had mice and guinea pigs and my daughter's had hamsters, but rats are my absolute favourite of the small animals. They really are fantastic and you can teach them word commands and it's never too soon to teach them their names. So, you know, there's all sorts of things that you're going to miss out on if you don't build up that bond with your rats. So your rats aren't going to behave how they are with me the day you bring them home. They're not going to behave like this the next day. It could take several days and the older the rats, <laughs> I'm being swarmed here by rats, the older the rats are, the longer it's going to take to actually build that bond. So you can't rush things, you've got to take things very slowly. So, you know, when you meet somebody new, you might like them, you might dislike them instantly, but the thing that you're not going to really know that person until they've proved themselves to you, that they've proved that they're kind and trustworthy. And so it's the same with animals. They need to learn to trust you. And the only way they're going to learn to trust you is if you're very kind and gentle and consistent in the way you act with them. So 
every single day you're going to have to sit with your hand in the cage and let the rats come to you. Now I've got other videos on older rescue rats or rats that are known to bite but if your rats are baby rats you get over the fear that they may nibble your fingers. Yes they may nibble your fingers but it's baby biting they're just testing you to see if you're edible. They're not actually drawing blood, they're not actually hurting you. The nip might be quite strong, it might be harder than you think but if you pull your hand away as a rat starts to nibble you they're going to think oh it's food it's live and they are going to instinct is to jump after that piece of food look for me instantly follow the food so you know that is what's going to happen so if they've got hold of you and you pull your hand away they're going to come with you the best thing is to keep your hand still when you're getting to know rats move your hand and the rat will follow you keep your hand still and they will just sniff you or gently nibble you good girl so that's the thing to do and let them get used to your smell now the other thing people don't think about is if they wear perfume or hand cream so you need your hands to smell the same every time you handle your rats so what I would do when I handle my rats is I wash my hands with an unperfumed soap and um, I will make sure that my hands always smell the same always use the same brand of soap and something like simple soap um, or preferably one that hasn't been tested on animals so tend to look for something that's unperfumed from Superdrug or another company that produces cruelty free products because I like to only use cruelty free and you would then sit with your hand here so you're consistent so you know rats get used to your routines as well so it's very important the more time you spend with your rat the quicker they're going to get used to you and you know they, they absolutely enjoy having rats they're wonderful when they've been handled every day and they've bonded with you they've been socialized they're the most fun and these girls just want to play on the floor but I'm not set up for floor time play at the moment so I'm going to keep you in your house yeah just for a minute and the other thing is I'm giving my rats treats today but this is purely an occasional treat um, a few extra Cheerios because I want them to stay with me now females especially very very active so they're going to be off and exploring now baby rats do not need treats so if you think like a rat you're going to think if, if the rat only associates you with food then that's not a good thing they need to associate you with fun and kind and gentle and you don't need food to bribe your rats please stop chewing my t-shirt Laura pop you in there because you're chewing my t-shirt they need to just associate you with you and not with food now it's fine to give little low sugar low fat treats to older rats but when your rats are growing they are going to fill up on sweet treats so you think like a rat they're like a child or sometimes an adult you want the nice sweet treat but you don't always want the boring food especially your children so your rat is going to eat the treats if you feed them treats they'll keep eating the treats because they will then get used to eating treats and they're going to want that all the time and they're not going to want their food and then they won't get the nutrients that they need so just think to yourself um, about forming good habits with your rats now rats get used to your routines as I've said before and handling your rats is the most important thing even if you're not getting them right out of the cage to sit here and handle them every day so mornings we check everyone's okay <laughs> and afternoons they come out for playtime evenings they come out for cuddles and because I'm at home I tend to get my rats out lots of time just for a little quick cuddle or I'll sit at the cage and that time that you spend with them is the most important thing for a rat. They've given up with me now because I've stopped giving them sweeties. Um, they've probably got a little stash inside somewhere. But you know, just really, you have to think all the time when you're planning your house, how to make your house safe. You have to think how your little rat feels. So a little rat is going to be quite scared. It's all going to be very strange your rat may start nervously sneezing now that could be a stress sneezing because they're upset it could be something to do with the change of environment and I've mentioned many times if your rat persists in sneezing after a couple of days your new rat then you must get them checked out 
by the vet because they can develop nasty respiratory infections. Now, um, also it could be the environment. So we've got videos on why your rats are sneezing. That, um, you know, they're, they're the most wonderful creatures ever. Violet might just trim my nails for me now. Have a little nibble of my nails. Come on, Violet. Good girl. She's calmed down a lot. Now, rats get very excitable. They can be very, very excitable, like my little Violet, who, when she was a few months old, I could barely hold her. But she is absolutely beautiful. So I think I will talk more about actually setting up the rat house and playtime in a, a separate video. But I just would like you all to think... Why is my rat acting the way it is? Why is my new rat hiding in the house and refusing to come out? Why do they run away when I put my hand in the cage? It's because they don't know you. You're big, you're new, you're strange. Compared to a rat, you are a giant. They don't know you. They're naturally cautious. Although they're inquisitive, they until they get to know you, they are going to be cautious. So just think very kindly um, how you will treat your rat. Just imagine you were the tiny rat in this new strange environment with new people. And just do everything you can. So avoid sudden noises, sudden movements. Keep your hands smelling the same. Spend as much time as possible and let the rats come to you. With baby rats, within a couple of days, they should be crawling up your hand and crawling up your arm. Keep your hands still. The rats will then know you are safe, you're predictable. And I think that is the absolute only way that you can really get the bond going quickly. You need to be consistent. And it is worth the time that you put in. Extra time in the first two weeks that you have your rat means the bond forms sooner, the fun starts sooner, and just everything is so much nicer for the rat. And your main aim when you get a rat is happy, healthy and safe rats. It's not They're not there for you, you are there for them. And that's how it should be with any good parent, whether you're child's parent or an animal parent it's not about what you want you have to not be selfish you have to think what is best for your rat so just learn as much as you can about rats and rat behavior observe your rats you see my rats they're done with me now <laughs> done with me now they realize they can't go on the floor but just you know just let the rats come to you and things will work out and when you have older rats that have been handled and had good experience, it won't take them long. They're naturally going to be cautious for a little while. So it's very much the same as baby rats. Just let the rats come to you, sniff the back of your hand, keep your hands still. Don't dive your hand in the cage because older rats have been territorial sometimes. They, you know, more protective of their homes. They're a bit bigger. They've had different life experiences. And rescue rats who are bitey, I've got a separate video on that, so I'm not going to talk too much about that in this, this actual video. But I think you really need to take special care and don't expect an older, nervous rescue rat to be your friend tomorrow or next week. Sometimes it will take several weeks, sometimes it might take several months. But always let the rat come to you and work at the rat's pace. Nobody likes to feel pressurised. Um, and it's that, like the old thing, you can't choose your family, but you can choose your friends. Now, rats have no choice about where they go. So they're pushed into situations. They end up wherever they end up. It's potluck whether they have a good home or a bad home. And it's up to you to make sure that that home you're providing is the best possible home you can. If you're not able to care for rats properly, then don't have them because... It's so traumatic for a rat to move home. And people think, um, you know, that well, rats are all right, they adapt. But they're such sensitive little creatures, they're not going to adapt to a new home straight away. However kind that new home is, and although a lot of rescue rats do end up in better homes, sometimes the people give up on them. And that, to me, is the saddest thing in the world, is to give up on a rescue rat that's already in the second or third home because they're the most beautiful creatures. So just always remember, don't just think about yourself, think about the actual rats you're caring for. And then you'll all have a happy experience.
and it really is the most wonderful wonderful thing to have a little rat that bonds with you and wants to be with you now my poor girls have given up on coming out they've realized this is not a coming out playtime but i will be getting them out later and we're going to have lots of fun with the paddling pool as it's a hot day so we will make a film of the rats in their little paddling pool and that will be up on another day but for me and violet and primmy and uh, lara yeah, you wriggled out of my hands. You did that, didn't you, little pickle? There she is. Look at how beautiful she is. Come on, Primrose. But it's going to be lots of fun here. Playtime is my absolute best time of the day. And that brings a whole new load of, of things to think about, of keeping your rats safe. And we will talk about that a bit more on our next video.